So, here we've got a bit of boneless saddle that Jason prepared for us earlier. So, completely boneless, you be able to pick this up at your local butchers, no problem at all. So what we're going to do today is we're going to stuff this and wrap it in smoked streaky bacon. So, here you can get sausage made up, sausage meat made up from your local butcher, or what I've done here is you've got two ready-made burgers. What we do is simply fold it over, pop it in the middle here, a little bit of fresh basil, three leaves is quite enough. Just pop it over there. And now you simply, all you do, fold the fillets in either side, roll it over till it's completely round and the same thickness all the way through. Now we grab smoked streaky bacon, wrap it around nice and tight. Don't worry if it doesn't feel like it's not holding perfectly, we've got some trusting bands here that help it stay together while it's cooking. Just like that, make sure you're covering it all the way around, underneath, so it keeps it nice and tight. And there we are. All you do is put the bands on, make sure the bands cover each slice of the bacon, so nothing falls off, or when it's cooked and you go to cut it, it doesn't just fall to bits. That one. Last one. Put the back. Now what we're going to do is use the sea salt and lampong pepper just to glaze over the top of it which stops it from drying out and just adds a nice seasoned crust over the top of the stuffed saddle. Pull that back, sprig of rosemary, good to go. So now we're going to make a haggis and venison stack. With this we use the knuckle muscle from the haunch of the venison. What we do, we just need a few thin slices. We slice it thin because it is going to be wrapped inside pastry and we need to ensure that it's cooked all the way through. So, a few thin slices, like so. You pop them at one side. And you grab your pastry rounds. Put them down. Slice a haggis. Carefully place on your venison. Make sure there's not too much hanging over the edges. Top it off, a bit of stilton, this also stops it from drying out. And then, then we grab slices of smoked streaky bacon, wrap it around, just make sure you're covering all the edges, like so. Now we're going to glaze it with a black garlic oil based marinade. So this saves you from kind of glazing it with your egg wash or your milk. This does a cracking job as well as adding that nice little bit of salt and peppery flavour. Finish it off, slice the mushroom on top and there you go. So now we're going to be making a venison crepinette. So for this, we'll need the cold fat, so place that out on the table. I've also got some pre-prepared venison sausage meat. It's also got some red onions, some venison liver, and some smoked streaky bacon. So don't be scared of this, hands right in. So grab a good dollop, almost kind of six ounce burger sized. Right. Pop it on top of the cold fat. Cold fat is good as well because it actually, because the venison is so lean, it, it really does stop it from drying out when you're cooking it in the oven. So all you do, fold it over, keep it really tight. Like so, and same again. Pat them down. Finish off again, a little sprig, rosemary on top. 
I'm going to get to go. I do, I've got a wide variety. I've got venison burgers, venison joints, sausages and kebabs. But the kebabs look good. Yeah, how many would you like? Uh, four pieces. Not a problem. Should it be 10.40 for that today, is that okay? Yes, thank you. No problem, I've just got that wrapped up just now. There you go, love. Thank you very much. Okay, you're nice, yeah. You too, cheers. Take care.